formula expressions are usually calculated using queries. In Access 2010, they introduced calculated fields. A calculated field is a simple expression that can be done at the table level instead of at the query. Before a calculated field can be created, there needs to be some basic fields that can be used in the expression. In this example, I'll create a simple product table and generate a sales expression. First, I'll add a text field and name it product name. Then, I'll add a currency field and name it price. And lastly, I'll add a number field and name it quantity. In previous versions of Access, a sales expression, which takes the price field and multiplies it by the quantity, would usually be created at the query, form, or report level. But now, by clicking the Add Field drop-down list, Calculated Field will be the last item on the list. From the Field submenu, choose the format for the expression, and when clicked, the Expression Builder will immediately be displayed. In the Expression window, create the formula that will be used for the calculation. Using the previous sales example, I'll add the price field, in asterisk for multiplying, and the quantity field. When completed, the field can then be named. Now, as data is added, whether it be through a query or form, the calculations will automatically update and display the results. Almost any expression can be created using a calculated field. Date fields, however, will not always work properly as the data is constantly changing. But some of the most common examples will be quantity times price fields and concatenating fields, like these full name and order by fields in the customer's table. If a calculated field needs to be modified, right-click on the field heading and choose Modify Expression. The Expression Builder will again open and the formula can be modified as needed. The ability to have simple calculations at the table level can eliminate the need for queries later and can help speed up the process of data in forms and reports.